Callie, how am I supposed to get anything done with you laying on my hand? Okay. <laughs> get out of here. I heart to fart. Cheers. <laughs> what you want, kitty? What you want, Gabby? I'm trying to do a video here. I'm trying to update the peeps. butt down you freak anyway what's up guys first off i just want to give everyone a little bit of an update I hit on a couple different things throw out a couple thank yous and i love yous gosh cali get out of here so like i was saying first off i just want to give a huge shout out and thank you to everybody who's been supporting the channel directly lately people have been doing that in multiple different ways and it's been helping tremendously these crazy months with the hospital bills and not having a job and dealing with the broken ankle and everything since so thank you guys so much people have been doing that through paypal donations through my live stream donations and subscribing to me on twitch and patreon which is an awesome way to continually support the channel on a monthly basis from anywhere from one dollar all the way up to whatever dollar amount you want and people have been insanely generous and i can't thank you guys enough you guys have made it possible for me to make it through this time period without having a job and when i haven't been able to work you guys have made it possible for me to turn youtube and live streaming and playing video games with you guys into something that can support me on a monthly basis can't thank you guys enough for this opportunity for the support and the love and the appreciation i get back from you guys just being able to entertain you guys and hang out with you guys and provide you guys dope videos that you guys can see on a weekly basis. It's honestly mind-blowing that this is even the thing that's turned into my job and I can't thank you guys enough. You guys are truly amazing. I'm so thankful for you guys' support. So thankful for your well wishes and I love you guys. You guys have taken the idea of me being able to do this full-time from a dream to a reality. It's crazy that I'm here right now. <laughs> like, thank you. I still every single day every single live stream every single uh dm and comment and getting the questions of course what's the update how's the ankle where's shelby etc so i'm gonna try to run through a little bit of that really quick shelby destroyed i'm gonna talk a little bit more about that in a second my ankle my ankle is doing much better i don't think it'll ever be the same again though i did not have the funds to get surgery um when the doctor suggested it so due to like nerve damage and stuff i do have some numb spots uh, up the side of my leg and on my foot around my ankle i don't have a full range of motion in my ankle anymore it is very tight i am trying to work it out and do like some at home physical therapy keep it moving so that it won't be worse than it could be but overall there is no more pain and i am able to get around i got this dope cane from a chick who does uh, custom wood carving in Poland. This thing is so sick, dude. So it's a one of a kind wooden carved handmade and painted cane from Poland. She uh, had an Etsy account and I just saw this when I was Googling stuff and it's so sick. If I have to have a cane, might as well have a sick one, right? Kelly. So I think in the very near future, I'll be fine to get around without the cane. I just don't think I'll be running any marathons or dancing or playing any sports in the near future. <laughs> But to be honest, now I just have a really legit excuse to not do those things. So stop asking me. <laughs> no, but really, I think I'll, I'll be fine in the near future to get around by myself. Even without the cane, I just, I won't be able to have a fully functioning ankle, but I think that's okay. <laughs> I'll be all right. Lastly, the question everybody obviously wants to know when they're uh, subscribed to the channel is, will I ride again? Yes, I will ride again, eventually. Obviously I gotta deal with the ankle and getting that up to 100%. And then two, I don't have a bike to ride. So there's a couple things about that. Like I said, I was gonna talk about Shelby a little bit more. I w am trying to get together a collaboration with a local shop and this fairing company. What I really wanna do is a rebuild video series for you guys of Shelby. This fairing company is going to send me fairing kit to replace Shelby's exterior and make her look beautiful again and then I want to take her to the shop and have them rebuild her and get her back into perfect working order. Meanwhile I'll be doing the rebuild video on the bike filming the shop and what they're doing with the bike then when she's complete and ready I will sell the bike. I will then take those funds to be able to finally purchase 
some sort of transportation for myself because I have no way to get around on my own. Yes, that will be a four-wheeled vehicle for now. And then I will be able to, after that, save up and put money towards a new motorcycle that I can then use um, to vlog whenever I feel like and put out awesome content with you guys, meet up with you guys, ride with you guys, etc. I'm not letting this accident or injury be something that holds me back from doing the things that I love to do and that I have a passion for doing. I won't let my life be controlled by fear in that way, so I will ride again. That being said, in the meantime, as you see, I am still putting out vlogs. I have lots of content saved up for you guys, as well as updates, life vlogs. And of course, if you haven't already made it to a live stream, you're missing out. Definitely try to hop over to Twitch, which will be linked down in the description below. Subscribe over there if you can. Um, if you can't, you can just follow and turn on notifications and that supports just as well, just being there and watching. But they are hilarious. We have an awesome crew of people who have stuck around and been a part of those live streams every single time and it's so much fun. Callie, come on, let me do this, please. Yeah, yeah. And then, of course, we want current vlogs, don't we? So, aside from the updates and the live vlogs, I will also be reaching out to you guys in the local Central Florida area. If you guys have a motorcycle and are within Central Florida slash Orlando area, and you guys ever want to meet up um, and allow me to steal your motorcycle from you for a little bit, grab some coffee, go ride around, check some stuff out, let me know. Shoot me an email, which I will put on the screen or down in the description as well. And let me know what you got, where you're from, if you'd be willing to do something like that. I would love to do test rides on different bikes. I think it'd be awesome, especially before I get into the market to find a new bike. I think it'd be really cool to meet up with some of you guys, get to ride some different bikes and see you guys. So if you guys are willing to do that, shoot me an email and let me know those details. It will be one of those things that obviously takes some planning and time. I think it would be an awesome way to uh, continue to get you guys some really cool bike material, all right? But thank you in advance to anybody who's willing to do that. All of these things being said, there are a few special people who definitely need some mentioning. Nathan Buchanan is one of them. The dude pledged $100 this month on Patreon. Patreon specifically is a monthly support system for people who create things, artists, etc. And what it does is it creates a system where people can pledge to support people a monthly amount. They can change those pledges at any time or cancel their pledges at any time but what it does for the creator is gives them a monthly recurring something so even if it's just a dollar all the way up to what nathan buchanan has pledged which is a hundred dollars thank you so much homie that's insane and like i can't tell you enough how much i appreciate and how much that has helped michael tuesley with a continuous fifty dollar pledge there have been other people jacob vanaman i love you thank you so much man Another worth mentioning is obviously Joshua Loyalist, one of my uh, earliest and longest going uh, patrons. Been in the $100 tier for so many months and is not active at the very moment. And if he never comes back and does it again, that's still fine. Like the guy has pledged for multiple months and supported me in such a huge way that has gotten me to this point. So thank you, man, I love you, of course. I hope everything works out, homie, and we'll stay in contact, man, and I'll, I'll, you'll hear from me soon. Thank you so much, man. Others worth mentioning from the live stream, Knuckles the Enchilada, we got crazy awesome names, of course. Uh, Trees, Twitch TV 24 Tim Demondi, Riku, Ray Dog. You guys have uh, supported the live stream in such a huge way, in large financial dollar amounts, on multiple different occasions, in ways that has gotten me through those months where I wasn't sure how I was gonna pay those bills. So, I love you guys. Thank you so much, and you guys support, love, well wishes. It means the world to me, guys. Let's wrap up all the, the sappy, feel-goody stuff. If you guys want to support uh, the channel through Patreon, you can, through PayPal, or even on my live streams, come hang out. If not, leave a like, subscribe, watching the videos, all of those things support the channel as well. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Your guys' support has made my dreams a reality, and I hope that my videos and live streams can provide you guys with the entertainment and the inspiration to fuel your guys' passions as well. Uh, anyway, let's get to this video. RPS TV out. Love you guys. It's pretty sick. Oh, it's a Harley? Nice. He won't look at me. He's too cool. Sick. <laughs> there for him sick we got the swollest dude I've ever seen in my life with his nipple rings out let's get it <laughs> hey
You're pretty. Love me. Love me. She doesn't care. <laughs> I have to take such a giant deuce right now. Oh my gosh. Public toilets are not worthy. Must make it home. No shirt bike squad. Squad. <laughs> starting to get low in the sky it's freaking gorgeous out dude couldn't have asked for a better weekend to be in miami to ride <laughs> dang that is sick oh that is sick those are both sick oh miami dude <laughs> everything's sick traffic is crazy right now <laughs> look at that thing Got the head nod from the homie. Dang, check out this BMW though. Sick. He's just texting. Like, he's not even going anywhere. He's just staring down at his phone. Retarded. Sick car though. Dang. Wrecked the front of it. That sucks. Mm. them on that I don't understand why people do this they just like stop <laughs> like there's like two car lengths between him and the next car he's just like I'll just stay here I'm not real sure what bike that was but it was pretty sick the homie Oh my gosh, look at that sky. Oh, I love Miami. <laughs> Speed hump, where? Didn't see it. This empty police car to scare people. 
she's freaking gorgeous, man. I, I can't get over these views. Sick. Bridge was up. Oh, look at that. All right, you can see there, the bridge is up. They're already fitting through, just go. Oh my gosh, people. That's not a crosswalk and that. <gasps> So dumb. Like, what is this bus doing? 